just to take a bit special care matter of few minutes let me spend and then we will continue don't worry at all okay just observe that question number nine any any other thing i have to explain just talk can you please be ready so that i can explain here just observe that uh, consider the code consider the code this is my code what is the what is the result okay what is the what is the what is the result consider the code what is the result what is the result here just observe this one is it the same right ayyo <laughs> it is the new question paper not not this one <coughs> Okay, just wait for a minute. Today also we are planning to write an exam. Okay, question for uh, iterative statements. Yeah, question number nine. Okay, this is I hope. Can you please consider? Is it right? <clears throat> yes. So just take very special care about this one. Sir, here observe that. Consider the following code. Class test the final int a is equal to m, b is equal to 20. Line 1. Do system dot out dot print ln. Hello, sir, while this is while a is less than b, system dot out dot print ln. Line 3. Which of the following modifications are required? Are required independently to compile test class. Okay. So, very, very simple, sir. Very simple. If we ask along, yes, both are final variable, compiler. <coughs> always aware it is a true correct right swaro a compiler always aware it is the true if it is the true if it is the true so this loop keep on executing keep on executing if it is keep on executing now this statement will become unreachable that is the problem okay so this statement will become unreachable now the as it is if i compile line 3 causes compile time error okay one solution for that remove this line three okay then happily the code is going to compile okay just uh, have a have a look once the problem here i'm i'm showing remove here just uh, have a have a look once about this one sir here i'm taking java c tested dot java java c tested dot java unreachable unreachable one solution is one solution is remove this one remove this unreachable statement then happily the code compiles fine but at runtime, time it's keep on printing hello 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 like so now hello 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 like it's keep on printing yes this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, one 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 solution for that okay like i don't want to remove another solution is if i remove this final keyboard if i remove this final keyboard then automatically can you please tell what will happen if i remove this final keyboard what will happen is compiler don't know whether it is the true or false so yes along yes compiler don't know whether it is the true or false now this line will be a uh, compiler never going to identify that it is unreachable statement now happily you know the code is going to compile no problem at all get the runtime at the runtime hello 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 will be printed infinite number of times sir. remember this one sir okay like are you are you getting this is the second modification so final we can use like sir what is the other options i provide remove final keyboard at line one or remove line three remove line three next uh, another thing is uh, is also there sir i don't want to remove final i don't want to remove line three just to get the line two let me use a break statement if i use break statement if i use break statement you will come out of the loop there is a way to come out of the loop it won't become infinite loop now this one is reachable this one is also reachable now what is the answer we are going to get hello hi is the answer we are going to get hello hi itself is the answer we are going to get now observe that hello hi are you getting right so which changes you require to perform to compile this code successfully independently remove final or remove this line or otherwise apply to use the break statement beautiful bit sir okay just uh, you should have strong confidence in the subject then only you can answer this type of questions i'm sure yes varu getting so what the what the answer for this what the answer for this a b c perfect best best question which are the following modifications required independently to compile test class okay remove final keyword get the line one use break statement at line two 
use break statement to get a, get a line two, line two, or remove line three, or none of the above. So which changes are required, sir? A, B, C changes are required. Remember this one, sir. Okay. So where yes, break repeat. Uh, what the problem? If I use break statement, if I use break statement, what will happen? There is a way to come out of the loop. Okay, so first uh, it is going to execute. Now it will come out of the loop. Now what will happen, sir? High will be printed. So it is uh, it will become reachable because of this break statement. So now it won't be infinite loop, even though it is final, even though the value is the true, it won't be infinite loop. Remember this one. <coughs> Correct. Okay, that's all. So this is any other things? Can you please confirm? <clears throat> yeah, uh, we must question number six matter of just five minutes, please friends have a look once because some people are having the doubts. Okay, question number six uh, here consider the following following of coding snippets consider the following following coding snippets like uh, here just observe observe carefully <clears throat> what what my coding snippets is. Have a look once, sir. Sir, here this is considered the following: do while of true, do while of true, do while of true, do while of true. Okay, like that. Sir, uh, option two, coding snippet two versus coding snippet three. Sir, here have you observed do and while only one statement I am taking SOP statement. But in between do and while only one statement I am taking sir semicolon. Semicolon is a valid Java statement, Vimal. Okay, which is also known as empty statement. But between do and while, you are not taking any statement. Are you getting? You are not taking any any statement between do and while. So that's why it is invalid syntax. Remember this one. Okay. Next, uh, do int x. Uh, so between do and while, you are taking only only one statement. That statement is the declarative statement, which is not allowed. Next, uh, uh, do within curly braces, you can take declarative statement, no problem at all. In which of the following coding snippets, we will get compile time error. We will get compile time error. So first one, no problem. Second one, no problem. But in third case, we will get compile time error. Next in the fourth case, we will get compile time error. So C, D. Okay, in the third case and the fourth case, we will get compile time error. So curly braces are optional. Without curly braces, only one statement is allowed between do and while, which should not be taken by statement. Perfect. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> If you can give these these questions uh, to any any person, so to outside person, then by seeing these, you may get shocked because they may not aware these internal loopholes most of the times because generally the people won't concentrate these internal things. Remember, they know do while syntax, they know how it is going to execute, but between do while curly braces are optional. Without curly braces, only one statement. That statement should not be declarative statement. Oh, that level usually usually in our regular preparation we won't. Okay, good, good bit. Yeah. Any other? <clears throat> yeah. Any other things? That's all. Can I start our regular class? You respond. Okay. Still any anything are pending? Nagataja, you have to tell any corrections are required in this or otherwise all the things are very clear, right? Yes. Okay. So better to attend today also. So I will discuss some more questions. Next if possible, you can write the exam like yesterday. Okay. Yes. Now, now let me go for next level concept. Here, what the what the next concept is? I mean. We are in continuation of discussion, okay, which things right? Import statements we, we discussed already in the last session. Now, so there is one concept is there which came newly added concept, newly added concepts are what that concept is, uh, you know, what, what that concept is static import. So in Java 8, uh, we are not seeing any questions. Uh, but in Java 11, you, you can see some questions, sir. Remember this one. In Java 11, you can you can see some, some questions. Remember, right? Okay. How you can, what are the, what the things you should aware, right? Now, here, just observe that. Sir, here, I'm, I'm trying to tell. In Java 1.5 version, do you know, 
sir after java 1.2 version the next major version is 1.5 version sir in java 1.5 version there are multiple new concepts came i hope just the, do you know beautiful for each loop came beautiful for each loop came in the java 1.1.5 .1 where are the methods concept came in the same version next up in collections do you know generics concept came next up queue concept came in the same version next up we are always using these days very common auto boxing and auto unboxing auto boxing and auto unboxing these concept came in the java 1.5 version only in the hoops concept covariant covariant return type concept is there by overriding this concept came in the same next time after that you know annotations annotations concept came in the same next the enum concept enum concept in the same version next the static import concept static import concept next one concept came which almost kill string buffer concept what that concept is a string builder concept have you remember these days even in our certification exam okay java 11 and java 8 certification no one is going to ask about string buffer everyone should talk about string builder that's why compulsory you should evade so do you know all these things are the new features which came in 1.5 version friends okay in that in that do you know in that very very important terminology i have to discuss what the static year static import okay as part of this course just as part of this one static import just a very top level basic idea you people should should require sir because it's very important for the exam you can see some questions also in the exam set that's why have a very one sir sir now my my important point here is observe carefully right okay sir i have do you know math class Sir, for the exam, it's a very important math class, especially for Java 11. Okay, math, math class is there, sir. Now, in the math class, okay, assume that, assume, assume that I have square root method is there. Okay, max method is there. Random method is there, like. So, all these methods present inside math the class are static methods. Remember this one, sir. Okay, now we require to talk about static import. Yes, at the part of that, just evade. So usually, sir, there is one class in the math class. In that math class, there are several methods are there. Square root method is there, sir. They can it is tell square root of 4, some 2.0, like it's going to tell. Next term, sir, here just uh, square root r, square root r, max of 10, 20. Max of 10, 20. 10, 20 is there, okay, like. Uh, next uh, similar, sorry, sorry, <laughs> not square root. Max of 10, 20 is there. Okay, maximum, maximum value of 10, 20 like that. Similarly, random, to generate some random number, generate some random float value, sir, random is also there. Do you know, like, uh, there are multiple methods are there, all these methods are static methods, right? Remember, sir, usually, we can access the static methods, usually we can, we can access static methods by using class name, correct, Arna? Yes, friends, usually, how you can access static variable under static method? We can access static variables and static method by using what? By using class name, static method, static method or static variable. Sir, how you can access right by using class name? We have to access. Now the question is observe carefully, right? Now here my requirement is so system dot out dot print LM, okay. Math dot square root r for I'm taking math dot square root of four. Okay, math dot square root r. 10 comma 20 i'm taking yeah, sir here max of 10 comma 20 next uh, math math dot uh, random like this i'm taking sir now if you observe that if you if you observe observe that sir scop of math dot square root of 4 math dot max of 10 comma 20 math dot random like that. so why you are using math dot math dot because these methods are static methods sir that's why we are using these methods are static static methods right okay now have a look once sir here let me let me compile this code perfectly it's going to compile let me run this code yes happily it's going to run sir okay square root of 4 means 2.0 max of 10 comma 20 means 20 random number is going to be generated between 0 and 1 is 0 0.5656 some number if i execute again random number will be changed because random number but the remaining two answers are always the same. Random number is always going to generate between 0 and 1. Remember. So, how we can access the static numbers? 
we can access the static members by using class name remember this one sir but uh, java people what they thought are <coughs> observe carefully Yes, observe carefully. Java people thought that unnecessary. So if I want to use math, how many times I'm using math? Math dot, math dot, math dot like. So it is always if to use to access static variable or static method, always we require to use math, math, math like. It's always a bigger problem. It's always, it's always a bigger problem. That's why what they did here, are you are not required. You are not required to use a class name, class name, Directly we can access static members. If you have such a type of facility, it will be too good. Like like they thought. What they did is they introduced a static import concept. Okay, how you can write static static imports? Okay, they introduced a static import concept. So what is the what is the concept? Can you please spell out? <coughs> Each and every person, can you please spell out what what the concept? What is the concept, sir? <clears throat> static import, static import concept, right? Now the point here is, so if I use a static import, we are not required to use a class name to access static members. Directly we can access static members, man, without using class name. That is the facility provided just because of this static import. Remember this one, sir, how we can do that? What is the way? Very simple. Very simple. So, what is our what is our concept? Can you please spell out static import? But while writing, we require to write import static. Don't get confused. Okay. While writing, we have to write import static. Can you please import static member? Which static member you want to import, sir? Java dot lambda math Java dot lambda math math dot. So in math class. Which static member you want? I want the square root static member. Okay, like I do. Are you in the position to understand, right? Import static Java dot lambda math dot square root. I want to import. I want to import the square root static member. Is it valid or not? Please confirm. <coughs> Is it valid or not? Yes. Perfect. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's going to be there. Now you are not required to use math. Definitely, it is going to work, sir. Okay, square root already we imported square root. It's a definitely it's going to work. Remaining two things, sir. Let me comment now. Observe carefully. So, I imported now. Here, just uh, have a look once. Have a look once. We can perfect it's valid. What the answer we are going to get 2.0. So, if I write a static import, we are not required to use a class name to access a static members. Remember this one, sir. So, if you want all static members present inside math class, you can take just the math dot star. Remember this one. So, we have facility. We have facility. So, if you want a particular member, you can ask. Or if you want all the members, you can ask like this, right? Okay. If I, if I take like this, then all members, you are not required to use a class name. Directly you can access. Okay, observe this one. Now is it going to work or not? Yes, definitely it's going to work. We are not required to use class name. Just observe carefully about this one, sir. Okay, like so. If you are seeing anywhere static import, just this is the meaning of what is the what is the static import, sir. Usually we can access static members. Usually we can access a static members. We can access access a static members. Static members. Sir by using class name by using class name but uh, but uh, if we use uh, if we use a static import if we write a static import but if we write the static static import static import then it is not then it is not required to use a class name class name we can access a static members directly we can we can access we can access static members directly <coughs> 
static members directly. Okay, that's all. Any explanation is required? Can you please confirm? Yes, friends. Anyone, any any explanation is required about this one? What is the need? Don't feel it is applicable. <coughs> It is applicable only for methods no no it is applicable for variables also okay like so now just let me take let me let me take this one okay just uh, i'm trying to take this part now you yeah, forget about this one sir here what is the result okay like just i'm i'm trying to take consider the code what the what is the result what is the result the result so first option i'm taking sir because some people may not aware this one comparison fails Compilation, compilation fails. Second one, sir. Second, second option. Two, I'm taking because square root of four is the two. Third option, I'm taking two point zero. Two point zero, I'm taking because in the Java one point four version, this is a very important bit. Either am I going to get a two or two point zero? Okay, like like this one, sir. So now compilation fails. Like just here, I'm trying to take square root. Okay, like two point zero. Just four, I'm taking, sir. Sir, obviously, which one is the correct answer in this case? Which one is the correct answer in this case? Sir, here just the uh, uh, C. C itself is the correct answer. Oh, hey, not B, Ramesh. C itself is the answer because the written type of math class square root method is the double. Remember this one, sir. Okay. The written type, the written type of a math class square root method. Math class square root method is a double, double, sir. <coughs> is a double. Hence, we will get a 2.0, but not a 2. Are you seeing everywhere? 2.0, 2.0, something like we are, we are getting. So, what is the purpose of what is the purpose of static import? What is the purpose of static static import? Okay, like this is. So, any doubt uh, about static import? Even you can access uh, variables also. Don't feel that you can you can access variables also. Happily, we can we can do that. No problem at all. Okay, like. Sir, now the second thing what, what you have to be aware. Do you know this is also a bit important terminology? Please take a bit a bit a bit special care about this one, sir. Okay, like uh, it's a uh, some people may ask in the interview room. In the interview room, it's a very very common question. Here, just observe. I have one class is there, sir. Legend, legend carefully. I have one class is there, class test. Static, static string name is equal to static string name is equal to is equal to Durga, like this I'm taking, sir. Sir, this is, now I want to find, I want to, I want to find the length, I want to find the length, length of this string. I want to find length of this string. Can you please tell what is the way? Test dot, please confirm, test dot, name. Why we are using class name? Because it's the static variable. Now, test dot name is what type? Please confirm, test dot name is what type? What type? String type. Text dot name is what type? String type. String type. Dot length method. I'm taking. Dot length. Now, what is the answer by default we are going to get? Sir, 5. Okay. Observe very carefully, sir. So, this is the most valuable important point. I'm ready to control. That's why please take a bit special care. Sir, can you please observe? What is a test? Test is a class name. Test is a class name. This test contain a static variable name. Name. Name is what type? Name is what type? Name is what type? String type. Remember, name is what type? String type. String type. Now, on the string object, we are using which method, sir? Length method. Length method. Length method present inside which class? Anyone, can you please confirm? Length method present inside which class? Uh, respond. Length method present inside which class? String class. Regarding length method present inside string class. That's why on the string object, we are applying this method. Okay, like that. Now my question is, take very, very special care about this one. Test dot name dot length. Okay, like Same way, I have one class is there. Name model with the system. Remember this one, sir. I have one class is there. Name model with the system. System class is there. In that system class, in that system class, there is one static variable is there out out is the static variable of what types are do you know print the stream type okay print the stream type out is equal to is equal to some dot 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 some code is there don't worry sir print stream object 
okay so what is a system system is a class this a system class contain a static variable out out is what type of print stream type out is what type print stream type now this print stream contain print ln method is there okay print stream contain print ln method is there so if you want to access out what is the way sir? system system dot system dot out because out is the static variable present inside system class that's why system dot out okay dot on the print stream happily you can call print ln method remember this one happily you can call print ln so what is system system is a class okay observe very carefully sir system is a class system is a class sir what is out what is out out is a static variable out is a static variable of the type of the type of print stream out is a static variable of the type of print stream static variable okay in system class in system in system class in system class of the type of print stream next print ln print ln is the method print ln is the method present in print stream class present in print stream class okay sir it's a very common requirement for the entire room take very special care Hare, can you please explain about system dot out dot print ln you have to tell something like uh, here have you have you observed just like the system i took a test class okay just like out out i took a name easy understanding sake just like print stream i'm taking here string like if you can understand this one then nothing is there in this line are you feeling comfortable are you in the position to understand okay sir what is what is the meaning of system dot out dot print ln what is class sir what about out what about print ln from where these things are coming sir it's a very clear because very important for the integer room sake remember this one explain about system dot out dot print ln okay you should be in the position to answer sir sir now my important question is listen carefully now now my important my important point or my important question is sir it's a, it's a very very simple sir <clears throat> it's a very simple what my important point is here usually we can access static variable by using class name but whenever we are using but whenever we are using we are using static import we are not required to use class name we are not required to use class name we can access a directly static members right sir here which is the static member name is the static member to access a name class name is not required if you use a static import to access out out is a static variable to access out the sir system is not required class name is not required if you use a static import now observe very carefully about this one import static java dot lang dot system class contain sir here star okay or otherwise out out i'm taking sir now if i use import static member out if i use if i import the static member out we can use out directly remember this one we can use out directly out dot print ln hello out dot print ln hi something like out dot print ln hi like we are going to take please confirm everyone in the position to understand any explanation is required okay now do you know this type of code also perfectly acceptable sir if you can show this code to outside person sir we have to write system dot out dot print ln but what about out dot print ln like perfectly it's going to work don't worry at all okay sir here i'm taking hello followed by hi what is the output we are going to get sir just observe carefully just observe carefully the answer what we are going to get hello followed by hi perfect it is it's a, it's a perfect value just like uh, do you know just like uh, in our sublets we are always using out dot print ln out dot print ln the same concept happily we can use in our normal normal regular java classes also just uh, if we write one import the import static import at the top <coughs> any explanation is required can you please confirm yes friends so so out is a static member present inside system class we can access uh, so if we import uh, if we if we perform static import for out uh, then you can use out directly we are not required to use uh, class name system this is what what you people should aware 
okay like so if i show <coughs> yeah yeah now uh, what will what will happen is uh, standard output standard error there are there are two internal internal things are there if you standard out is always point into the console okay remember standard out is always point into the console console standard error is also by default point into the console okay in our in our programs uh, if any output i require to print uh, then so standard output is the responsible to display that to the console if for any error is coming or any exception is coming standard error is the responsible to display that standard error device is the responsible to display but uh, here both the standard output device and standard error device is the console only that's why you are not seeing but if i redirect a standard error to some error file standard output to some output file then you can see the difference getting right yes okay sir very very simple <laughs> very 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 simple sir uh, here do you know here there is a, there is one one concept is there very recently uh, redirection concept in the unix i handle just wait for a minute i will, I will explain what the difference like sir here just observe this observe this sir what is the output we are we are going to get what is the result uh, what is the result result uh, so the first option i'm always going to take a uh, compilation fails yeah, compilation fails compilation fails because most of the people don't know about this concept second option i'm taking hello hi okay hello hi third one an exception an exception is thrown an exception an exception is thrown is thrown yet the runtime is thrown at the runtime runtime sir for one it won't print anything to the console it won't it won't print it won't print anything anything to the console it won't print anything anything to the console okay like we have that's all okay so this is what what will be the answer sir can you please spell out answer is b remember right answer hello hi is the answer we are going to get so just uh, take very special care about this one sir so system out is a static variable print line is the method present inside so if we are writing import the static import if we are writing static static import static import we can access uh, static members directly that's what what technique i use here remember this one sir okay sir here just uh, i hope i hope is that is that clear for you people not required to keep any explanation right okay next uh, sir it is also very common doubt for most of the people uh, what is the difference between standard output device and the standard error device like uh, some people may have the doubt here just uh, uh, of course you can dig with this knowledge in java how it is going to be happen just uh, one minute i want to spend who asked this question can you please confirm what is the difference between standard error and standard output who asked this one uh, what is the difference between yeah nagateja yeah well sir here just observe carefully in in if i use uh, just uh, take very very special care in the unix terminology i hope i can i can tell sir there is one cat command is there cat command is there if i use cat command if i use cat command it is uh, always going to read the, from the keyboard okay hello i'm taking so just uh, if i use the uh, cat enter it is always going to read the, read the, from the keyboard read read from the keyboard keyboard okay next uh, it will it will it will display by default to the console if i enter after hello if i enter immediately hello will be printed remember this one sir in this system unix is not the working that much because here 4 gb memory only there that's why not so here observe if i use just a cat enter if i use just a cat enter now what will happen it will read the hello from the input and it will it will display to the to the console to the console now here the point is standard input standard input is a keyboard remember this one so that's why it is always going to read from the keyboard 
Next, uh, standard output. Okay, here just observe this one. Standard output. Output is a standard output. Output is a standard output is a okay console a uh, terminal. There we are using the word terminal. That's why it is always going to print to the terminal. Okay, like that. So it is a reading data from the keyboard and it will display to the console. Any doubt? Can you please confirm? Are you in the position to understand? Okay, this line. So from where it is reading the data? Please confirm. From where it is reading the data? From the standard input device. What is that standard input device? Keyboard. Keyboard. Standard input device is the keyboard. Next, uh, it is uh, printing. It is it is printing from where? It is it is it is printing to terminal because standard output device is a terminal. Remember that. Now, same thing what I thought to take is okay just to take very very special care cat i'm taking cat i'm taking uh, read from the keyboard but uh, don't display don't display to the to the terminal can you please display to output dot txt can you please display to output dot txt what i have to take is one greater than output dot txt zero means a standard input device one means a standard output device now sir here if i take sir now observe carefully reading data from the keyboard reading data from the keyboard from the keyboard but uh, can you please uh, display to the terminal no 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 here output redirected to output dot txt remember this one output is redirected to output dot txt now can you please tell standard output device now pointing to please confirm standard output device now pointing to array respond now pointing to output dot text file now it won't display to the terminal if you open output dot txt now you can see hello are you in the position to understand what i'm doing sir output redirection this is what output redirection okay like now now i'm taking very very carefully cat command <coughs> observe carefully sir cat command cat command now my requirement is so you have to read the data from from where please confirm you require to read the data from where Rare response, standard input device. Standard input device is what? Standard input device is by default what? Keyboard, keyboard. Now I have to tell, hey cat, cat command, don't read the data from the keyboard. Can you please read the data from the input.txt? Okay, now, now, zero is less than input.txt. Now listen, from where the data is going to read the from input dot txt okay like uh, next uh, don't display this uh, data to sub terminal can you please uh, write this uh, data to output dot txt output dot txt next uh, while executing this command if you are facing any error any error by default it's going to display to the terminal terminal by default if 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 you are facing any error by default is going to display to the terminal don't display error message to the terminal can you please display error message to error dot txt what if you understand this one then you can easily understand what is the difference between standard input and standard error are you getting right so here just observe it is now which one will become standard input device standard input uh, input uh, uh, standard input uh, uh, standard input device is now now not keyboard not keyboard now which is the standard input device now are you respond from where input is coming uh, standard input uh, redirected to input dot txt okay so read the input uh, from input dot txt next uh, standard output standard output can you please uh, redirect it to output dot txt okay so standard error if any errors are coming if any errors are coming 
standard error stream not redirected to error dot txt now it won't read anything it won't read anything from the keyboard okay it won't write anything to the terminal sir all output is going to be displayed to the output dot txt error messages are going to be displayed to the error dot txt and it's always going to read input from the input dot txt <coughs> clear right okay now nagateja now what is the difference between standard output and standard error now you can you can understand by default standard output device standard error device are our console our our console if any error is coming the error is displaying to the console only if any if any if any output is coming output is also displaying to the console only because by default both are pointed to the console so but you can redirect the standard output to output.txt standard error to error.txt then it will become two separate entities both are not same only error messages will be written to error.txt only output messages will be written to output.txt okay like, sir if assume that assume sir here just assume that if i remove this one if if i remove if i remove this one can you please tell observe very carefully if i remove if i remove this one now now standard output will be displayed to please confirm immediately standard output hey respond baska standard output output will be displayed to output.txt output.txt but error messages are going to be displayed to error messages are going to be displayed to console are getting because you are not redirecting error message okay well now if i remove this one if i remove this one this one standard output will be displayed to please confirm standard output will be displayed to console error messages also will be displayed to console that is by default what happening in java okay but the input is always taking from input.txt if i remove this one also <laughs> if i remove this one also now from where it is going to take input can you please tell from the keyboard from the keyboard from to where it is going to print output to that console to where it is going to print error messages to the console are getting three entities now are you seeing what is the difference between standard input standard output and standard error device clear right okay some people maybe okay this is in beautiful concept is called redirection in unix operating systems of linux okay luckily just currently i am handling this batch right now so my knowledge is rising like anything because of that batch <laughs> okay well so clear not required to keep any explanation about this what is the meaning of system dot out dot print ln okay please please make sure sir you should you should aware clearly right okay well sir now the next thing now the next next thing what what you should aware sir the return type of print and the print ln the return type of print and the print ln both are void only remember this one the return types of print and print ln is the void 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 only that's why you can't use print statement inside sop so by mistake if you are taking print statement inside sop immediately error you are going to get okay that's all so this is about what is the what is the important conclusion you should give it next uh, there is a uh, one more important point is there we can also print logs in logs file so like the next yes Bhaskar, we can we can do that do you know uh, you have you have log 4j log logging frameworks came logging frameworks are going to guide you how you can separate the error messages to the log files <clears throat> yeah up to this is the clear yeah yeah vishnu i will come to that point only listen carefully sir sir now here the next point very interesting very important sir just to take very very a bit special care about this one here import static import import static java dot lambda java dot lambda integer dot star can you please import all static members present inside integer class remember right like, integer class integer class contains several static members like max value min value like that. import static Java dot lambda byte dot star. Do you know byte byte dot star? Assume that 
here system dot out dot println system dot out dot println do you know integer integer class max value integer dot max value integer dot max max value is there okay integer dot max value is there okay like that so now what is the max value forget about these static inputs forget about this one integer dot max value what is the max value of integer 21 47 48 36 47 a very moment right what about its max value 21 47 48 36 47 this is the max value max value of the int now observe now observe this one yes perfect what output by default we are going to get 21 47 48 36 47 okay well it's a, it's a value now i'm taking now i'm taking byte dot max value byte byte dot max value okay like that now what is the byte byte max value 127 127 127 you know so the output by default we are going to get 127 perfect okay 127 like this we are getting sir now my doubt is integer class contain max value byte class also contain max value now just simply i'm telling array can you please print max value what is the what is the answer because i wrote static import right because i wrote static import can you please tell what the answer we are going to get? Yeah. Can you please confirm? So somewhere we covered already. Somewhere we covered already this type of thing. Array. So two max values are there. Two max values are there. Which max value will come is always a problem. Ambiguity problem is going to come, sir. Okay. Ambiguity. Ambiguity. Compile time error we are going to get. Just observe this one. Reference to max value is ambiguous. Reference to max value is ambiguous like a uh, compile time error by default we are, we are going to get remember right okay compile time compile time error we are, we are going to get for this okay now so how you can solve this compile time error you know the answer okay one minute one minute so if we use uh, explicit if we use explicit uh, then we can we can solve this problem sir okay like uh, sir here just uh, uh, what is the what, what is the what is the result what is the what is the result what is the result so a yeah, integer class max value will be considered integer class max value integer class max value will be considered max value will be considered integer class max value will be considered next uh, byte class max value will be considered byte class max value will be considered compile time error okay compilation fails compilation fails fails okay like the compilation fails an exception is thrown at the run time remember this one an exception is thrown at the run time okay like like i'm taking sir sir can you please confirm which is the, which is the correct answers in this case please write so what the what the answer we are going to get an exception is thrown at the run time so obviously compile time error what the reason reference to max value is ambiguous like that now how you can solve this problem how you can you can solve this problem sir very very simple so if i use if i use sir max value if i use here like integer dot max value if i use import static java dot line that integer dot max value if i use perfectly this one is going to work sir perfectly it's going to work then which max value by default is going to be considered can you please confirm which max value by default will be considered in this case anyone anyone ah explicit class import is always going to get high priority okay so here which max value will be considered sir integer integer class max value will be will be printed will be will be printed okay like the integer max value will be printed like so obviously the correct answer is yes sir okay like now have a available one sir is it really going to print uh, uh, a or not yes yes okay observe no compile time error perfect it's working sir now my question is legend very carefully yes navateja uh, i hope someone asked this doubt now observe this sir i have static static int int max value static int max value is equal to triple nine i'm taking <laughs> okay sir system not out that printer max value max value now can you please tell which max value will be considered our class max value 
or integer class max value or byte class max value this is a bit interesting can you please confirm which max value will be considered our class contain integer class contain byte class contain byte class also contain can you please confirm which one will be the will be the answer in this case okay so integer class max value will be printed integer class max value will be printed byte class max value will be printed our our test class max value will be printed our our test class max value will be printed our test class max value will be printed compilation fails okay like compilation fails can you please confirm what what the correct answer in this case okay take very very special care while while resolving static numbers while resolving static static numbers compiler will always give us compiler will always give us precedence precedence in the following order compiler is always going to give the precedence in the following order okay sir what is the first one is current class static members current class static members static members next the second one sir explicit explicit static import explicit static import static import explicit static import members members third one sir implicit static import members implicit static import members okay like that now do you know so obviously which one is the correct answer in this case can you please confirm Re respond can you please confirm which is the correct answer in this case sir c our own our own because our own class our our class static members will get highest priority if it is not there then only explicit static import still if it is not there then only implicit static import sir sir now observe the by default the answer we are going to get triple nine if you want you can cross check okay triple nine is the answer sir okay if i comment this line if i comment this line this line what is the answer we are going to get the yes, subject what is the answer yes sir this is explicit consider if i comment this line also <laughs> if i comment this line also this line so both if i comment this line what is the answer we are going to get explicit is not there explicit is not there our current class also doesn't contain static member then which static member is going to be considered sir our max value byte class max value 127 will be considered what is the output we are going to get 127 yes friends any explanation is required about this okay so someone asked about if our current class contain max value if our current class contain max value and the and uh, sorry current class contain square root method and a math class square root is there then which square root is going to be considered one student asked this one who asked this just a few minutes before who asked this question if our current class current class contain square root method and the math class also contain square root method if i write a static math class square root which is square root is going to be considered like someone someone asked this one now i hope it's a clear right yeah amit clear yeah now the next one okay sir it's a it's a very very simple sir it's a, it, it, it is very very simple sir now what is the what is the next next thing i have to talk just uh, let me take these things sir can you please tell is it is it uh, which among which of the following import statements are meaningful just observe carefully right sir i'm taking import 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 java dot lang dot math dot star i'm taking import java dot lang dot math dot star import static java dot lang dot import static java dot lang dot math dot star import java dot lang dot math i'm taking import java dot lang dot math okay import uh, static java dot lang dot math import static java dot lang dot math next uh, import static static java dot lang dot math dot square root dot star okay 
import java dot language dot math dot square root import java dot language dot math dot square root square root import the static import the static static java dot language dot math dot square root square root next the import the static java dot language dot math dot square root wow okay these are my import statements can you please confirm which import statements are meaningful okay which of the following import statements are meaningful you have to tell sir normal imports and the static imports both i am taking sir normal and the static imports both both i am trying to take them. okay can you please confirm which are meaningful yes friends <clears throat> Which of the following import statements are meaningful? Yeah. Can you please confirm? Please respond. Meaningful. Meaningful means valid. Okay. Which of the following are meaningful? Okay. You can. You can. So import Java dot language dot math dot star. Hundred percent pakka. It is invalid because math is a class. Math is a class. So normal import should ends up with the class name. Yeah, normal import. If I consider normal import, what is the syntax for normal import? Anyone can you please tell? Import, import, import package, import package dot the star you can take or import the package comma class we can take. Okay. So package dot star or otherwise package dot class explicit class import implicit implicit imports are. If I consider static import, if I if I consider static static import static import. Now observe this one. If I consider static static import. Now the point how how it will be the syntax here. Import the static import static package dot the class name dot the star. Are in this package in this class? Can you please import all the static members? Okay, import package dot the class dot the static member. Okay, like you have to take. These are the syntaxes, right? Okay, based on this, can you please tell which are meaningful, which are not? So the first one, the first one, so not meaningful because normal import. Normal import, sir. Class name, math is a class. Sir. So under then immediately semicolon must be required. But why you are taking that star invalid, sir? Second one, import static Java dot language math dot star. Perfect. It is a valid, sir. Next, import Java dot language math. Yes, it is a valid. No problem at all. Next, import static Java dot language math. Are so static import in this math class. Which static member you require? You are not specifying. This is invalid. Import static. After static member, sir, dot star meaningless. After static member, dot star meaningless. Sir. So import it is also meaningless sir, because you are talking about the member, but you are not using static. So this one is invalid because you have to specify static member name. That's all. You are not required to call. You are taking something like a method of call. Parenthesis you should not take. But last one perfectly valid. Please confirm. What is the correct answer? A B B C B C and then B C and then H. Remember, all the remaining things are invariant. Yo, crutch it. Any doubt? <clears throat> this is uh, one very commonly mistake for most of the people, sir. So, which is okay, which are valid. Okay, B, comma, C, comma, H. Any doubt? Nagadeja, why F is valid? F is invalid. F is invalid. You are not talking about static. It is a normal import. Ramesh G, why? Because square bracket is not allowed here. That's why. I mean, these parentheses are not allowed. Because you have to use a member name, that's all. Okay, take uh, a bit special care. Maybe a chance to ask uh, this type of questions also. Okay, but uh, anyway, very rare. This much level 
this level okay just uh, but having clarity on the uh, 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 having having clarity is always highly recommended right okay that's all so these are various important things what you people should should aware sir but anyway one small conclusion i have to talk what's my conclusion is do you know static import seems to be seems to be very useful concept but uh, if i consider in the in the in the broad picture okay in the in the big big picture it is a failed concept what the reason for that is what the what the reason for that is assume that assume assume that i have a class test contain contain 1 lakh lines are there 1 lakh 1 lakh lines are there sir assume that 1 lakh lines are there somewhere we use a system dot out dot printer on square square root of some four assume that okay somewhere in the middle i use the sop of square root of four now my question is if this square root is my my class my class square root method or is this square root is coming from the math class it is always a big confusion okay because just by seeing one or two lines you can tell but assume that the code contain one lakh lines one lakh lines in the one lakh lines terminology definitely definitely it is always a problem okay readability by default is going to be down remember this one usage of static import readability by default is going to be down that's why do you know if there is no specific requirement never recommended never recommended to use uh, this uh, this uh, uh, static static import sir please make sure you people should aware any explanation is required yes friends are you in the position to understand right so this is not rate of multiply it is going to be down suppose i am using mathrad square root now i am using mathrad square root mathrad square root can you please confirm can you please confirm here which is the more readable which is the more more readable either first one or second one which is the more readable obviously second one is the more readable because a class can contain a class can contain hundreds of meters span hundreds of meters of are this method is coming from math class or this method is coming from current class okay it's always a bigger problem that's why better to use import statement until classes until package or class but don't use until method level variable level it is a failed concept that's why even even java people only told later point of time or a don't don't uh, if it is if there is no specific requirement don't use static import unnecessary it is going to create the readability is going to be down okay that's all this is about uh, what is what is the what is the meaning of uh, static import right now the next uh, topic what i have to talk okay here packages package statement okay it's also very very important for you package package statement right can you please tell what is a package what is what is a package 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 is nothing but you know a group are you getting a group a group package itself is nothing but a group a group of related a group of related things related things just example for you okay uh, south india south india india tour package <laughs> south india tour package uh, south india tour package or uk tour package uk uk tour package something like that do you know sir or otherwise basic java package basic java package okay python package python complete python package something like that while courses complete python package somewhere you may have about this type of terminology friends okay what the meaning the meaning so all all places are related to south india they are keeping inside a package are this package you are going to get some 20000 30000 rupees like they are going to provide so basic java package core java advanced java and then oracle these are minimum required for java now they are using the word basic basic java package like okay complete python package complete python python package so whatever courses are required in said python python django rest api like these things are by default considered as python python package okay like so a group are related things so group into a single unit such type of encapsulation mechanism is a nothing but package statement right okay so what is what is package it is it is an encapsulation mechanism it's an encapsulation encapsulation mechanism mechanism 
to group related to group related classes related classes and the interfaces and the interfaces into a single unit to group related classes and interfaces into a single unit it is an encapsulation mechanism to group related classes and interfaces into a single unit remember this one sir so best example all all classes i want to i want to use all classes and interfaces which are required for database which are required which are required for database database operation are grouped into a separate package that package is nothing but java data sql okay remember java data sql package contain all classes and interfaces which are required for database communication similarly all classes and interfaces which are required which are required for which are required for file io operations okay file file io operations file operation java.io package java.io io package right sir so all classes and interfaces which are commonly required for every program which are commonly required for every program so the most commonly required for every program those classes are grouped into java.lang package remember that okay so all database operations all file operations so all database operations related classes and interfaces are grouped into java.sql package all file operations related classes and interfaces grouped into io okay like that. next are the most commonly required classes which are required for every java program those classes are keeping inside a separate package which is nothing but java.lang package are you getting what is the main advantage of package statement just it is an encapsulation mechanism it is a grouping mechanism what you people should aware okay so what are various advantages are there sir the biggest there are multiple advantages are there do you know in here just just there observe the advantage right suppose here if i if i consider if i if i if i consider here just assume that assume assume that i have uh, here i want to i want to develop sir one one product one product product so product order 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 processing order delivery something like that. order processing order delivery all classes which are required for order processing for order order processing i will take it as a separate package all classes which are required for order delivery i will take inside a separate package order delivery next one is order processing and order delivery these two things i will take inside a separate package which is nothing but order package okay like so it's a beautiful encapsulation mechanism modularity modularity sir this is order processing module this is order delivery module this is order module modularity by default is going to be improved sir first advantage right modularity of the code is going to be improved next uh, do you know here i want to take one class one class util dot java assume that sir because utility utility is uh, utility is dot java okay like i'm taking sir can i take the same class here also please confirm is it possible or not are can i take same class here also is it possible or not yes why not why not because this package is the different this package is the different okay naming conflicts uh, we can resolve sir okay naming naming conflicts uh, we can resolve because of package statement because of package package statement naming conflicts we can resolve best example sir in java two date classes are there no problem one date present inside java.sql another date present inside java.util remember this one in java there are two list list components are there one thing present inside java.util another thing present inside java.awt remember that okay so how two list two lists are possible how two dates are possible just because of package statement if the package statement is not there then automatically you can't maintain two date classes you can't maintain two list components are you getting so this is uh, one one so what is the advantages of the package statement to resolve naming conflicts happily we can resolve naming conflicts to improve modularity of the application we can next uh, even to provide the uh, even to provide security also best example best example sir suppose if i can take if i if i if i can take there is a class is there sir like that. i have one class is there sir 
which modifier i'm using can you please tell which modifier i'm using for this class okay let's go which modifier i'm using for this class default if i'm not using anything default default so if it is the default if it is the default you can access only in the current package you can you can access only in the current package means okay now outside person outside person can't access okay this component remember can't access this one package access a wall for this component right so for our components we will get security because of packages also okay package package specific outside person is not allowed to access better to make that class better to make that member as default default means package specific package private it is applicable it can be used only in the current package only security by default you are going to get because of package statement any doubt all the things are clear right okay next for the exam sake two or three important questions are there this part i will take in the next session friends